All right, Taurus, looking into the person that you were dealing with and or thinking about, we're going to be looking into the past, present, and future energy of your person, okay? In the past, we have the Two of Cups, followed by the Ten of Ten of Wands, Five of Cups again, and the Page of Swords. You could be connecting with a water sign, fire, or air. In the past position with the Two of Cups, there was so much love that this person had for you. Okay, this person I feel like really did want to be with you in the past position, right? Their feelings were very, very overwhelming. They felt very comfortable with you. They felt like they honestly found their match, you know? Like they found someone that they just meshed with very, very well. You were very comfortable to this person. I feel like this person really wanted to be with you for the long term, even if they might not have said it to you. And if you were with this person, they definitely felt this way. They definitely wanted to go the distance. If you weren't necessarily with this person, like this was an almost relationship, they did feel this for you. Maybe they it just never got to this place. You know what I mean? Like it never got to a place where you guys were able to be together romantically, but they did feel this for you regardless. All right. They felt very, very strongly for you in the past and they wanted to be with you. They truly, truly wanted to be with you. That is a very strong card, two of cups, right? Two of cups coming together, being on the same page, being very grounded with one another, giving to one another, wanting to be with you, you know? They really truly wanted to be with you. They had very strong feelings for you of in a positive light. And then things kind of took a stark turn is what I'm seeing here. Now, this could be because the relationship took a stark turn, things ended between the two of you, or their feelings for you changed. And I feel like it was kind of like external influences caused their internal feelings to change with the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Five of Cups, Water. Okay, this person feels so heavy now. They feel a great deal of sadness now. They feel kind of like emotional and romantic regret and remorse almost. They're honestly in the present moment mourning the loss of this connection. They're mourning the loss of you, mourning the loss of what could have been, you know, mourning the loss of this two of cups energy. And their heart's very heavy right now. They have a very, very heavy heart. I, I still feel like they have love for you because, I mean, why else would they be mourning? You know what I mean? Like if somebody went from loving you to, you know, moving on really quickly, then the, maybe that person never loved you in the first place. But because this person is literally taking the time to mourn the situation, to feel all of the hurt that they have within them, to honor and acknowledge all of the feelings that they have um, for you in the present moment, all the pain that they're enduring, tells me that this person still has strong feelings for you. They still have that two of cups energy within them. It's just now they're just dealing with the loss. In the future, we have the page of swords. So I see this person in a way stalking you and I'm not saying like they're going to show up at your door or anything like that but I do see them keeping tabs on you in the future tense like their their feelings and their energy towards you is one of just wanting to know what you're doing wanting to know what you're up to wanting to know okay did you get the new job did you move town did you get a new friend did you are you dating somebody new I see them keeping tabs on you especially if maybe you were friends on social media um or if you had a mutual friend circle, I see them keeping up with that circle to keep up with what you're going through and what you're doing. And also social media is a big, a big factor there. I do see this person just wanting to kind of continue to be around you, even if they can't be around you physically, especially if you were the one who ended the relationship. Even if they were the one who ended the relationship or it was just life that kind of separated you two, okay? I'm feeling like this is somebody who really truly wants to have a conversation with you with the ace of swords i feel like this is somebody who wants clarity they want a lot of clarity they want to understand but you know it is somebody who's also feeling like okay i'm just i'm not even safe to have that conversation right now like i'm they're not ready to have that conversation they're not ready to embark on that yet right because i do feel like there is this blocking communication there is this separation that you're in with this person right now and they're feeling it very heavily right now whatever 
whatever happened between the two of you, whether they initiated it or you initiated it, it doesn't matter because this person is really feeling it right now. Okay. They viewed you in such a highlight. Like I can't say it enough, but this person, King of Wands, like they saw you in such a beautiful way and they really wanted to go the distance with you. They really wanted to explore life with you, explore the connection with you. And this is somebody who just felt really comfortable, really, really comfortable with you. They were completely in love with you. Um, we have earth energy finally coming through with the five of pentacles. So you could be connecting with a fellow earth sign. We have six of pentacles here too. But something really happened. Something just separated the two of you. And I feel like it really took this person by storm. And even if, you know, you're like, well, it took me by storm too. Like I didn't want this to happen either. Understand that they are feeling it too. Understand that even if they're not showing this, they're feeling it. Okay, they might outwardly not, you know, you might not know what's going on with them, but they're feeling a lot of heaviness, a lot of burden, a lot of weight, a lot of responsibility, a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, and a lot of just pain and sadness within themselves. Their heart is very heavy. So just understand that if you're feeling this, they're probably feeling it too. They're just not displaying it, okay? This is somebody, oh my God, Six of Pentacles, who... As much as like, I do feel like this person wants to come back in. I just have a feeling that they do, but they're not, they can't, like they're not there yet, you know? And I feel like in the past position, they did truly want to continue to give to the situation, but something caused this to separate, right? Something caused you two to split. And now you're in that kind of separation mode, that hermit mode, Virgo energy. Okay. I, oh, this person wanted to marry you. They did. They did. I feel like they still do, right? But they're in this energy of, you know, distracting themselves, trying to at least. But they did want to marry you. I feel like this is somebody who did and probably still does just want to be emotionally open with you, understand, you know, you, commit to you, be with you again, put down roots with you, right? But they're distracting themselves, right? Because they're feeling that pain. They're still in that tin of wands five of cups energy so they're distracting themselves with this eight of pentacles with work with with anything with watching a movie with with whatever they can do to like distract themselves from the pain they're that's where they're they're using their time and their energy that's what they're trying to do you know they're pushing down all of their feelings and all of the words that they want to say to you you know what i mean but that passion regardless of this separation right that passion is still is still there that passion is still there, even though this Four of Swords is here, even though there is this separation between the two of you and this split, they're not enjoying it. They still have so much passion for you, so much love. We have Leo energy coming through here, air energy. It's insane. What is this person's um, future actions towards you? We have the devil. Look at that. We actually have the devil twice. See, there was an ending here. There was an ending. Absolutely. And they're feeling like, see, this person I feel like has hit rock bottom. But they're like, the devil is their future actions towards you, Taurus. And I see them being obsessed. Like I see them going through this phase of just not being able to let you go, not being able to get you off their mind, not being able to shake you no matter what they try to do. You know what I mean? And although they're, you're on their mind constantly, you're heavy on their heart, their, you know, page of swords energy, which is like keeping tabs on you. They're not moving towards you though. Initially, right? They're not moving towards you initially. They're obsessed. You're on their mind, but they, they, they're not moving towards you with that chariot cancer energy, right? Devil Capricorn. But I do see them slowly moving towards you after that initial, um, you know, obsessive period of like trying to let you go, but not being able to let you go. I do see them coming back in to try to start something new with you again. We have the full Aquarian energy with a page of wands fire. Okay, I do see them. Absolutely. Yeah, we have the page of pentacles, someone coming in for a message wheel of fortune. Yeah, I do see this person coming back in, but it's going to be after a period of them trying to let you go. All right, Taurus, I miss the feel of you next to me. You're an angel. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. I just got sidetracked. I just have something else to do right now. Please try and understand. It's really hard for me to open up. 
How could you still love me after all I've done? I'm sorry this is how things turned out. I'm sorry if I ever contributed to the suffering in your heart. I wish you would come back. I don't really know you. But you're the best thing that happened to me in a long time. Next time I will listen to my intuition. Please stay in my life. I don't want you to go. Have you had enough of me? I lied to you. Please respect my boundaries. Although being near you is intoxicating. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I want to be more than friends. Please be patient with me. Finding out the truth crushed me. I can't stand to see you with someone else. I don't know what to say to you. And I hide behind material things. But I want you to know that I love you, although I hid who I really am from you. All right. I do see this person coming back around after a period, like I said, of that devil chariot energy of like being obsessed but not mo making any movements back towards you and then i see them coming back in to start fresh with you and see if you guys could start over or like start up if you guys never really got anything off the off the ground because this person i don't know that feeling of like regret and the whole like what if i feel like this person thinks about that a lot like what if what if what if with when it comes to you so i feel like that's definitely going to be their driving force when it does come to them coming back around and also because they do have a lot of passion strength energy coming through 